How to present a sketchbook page to get your marks. In a creative and visual A level like art, graphics or photography, you obviously get marks for the quality or how good your work looks. However, this is not just about the impressive paintings, designs or photographs. You get the bulk of your marks from how you've researched, experimented, practiced and developed your own ideas. So essentially, you get most of your marks from your thought processes. But how do you provide evidence of such things? Your sketchbook. This is not just a pretty picture book. It's a journal of evidence of your creative process. It's important you always have in your mind that it serves a very important purpose, to get your marks, to get your grade. So what do you put in your sketchbook and how do you present it to get marks? We'll start there. We provide you with lots of things to help you with this. Sketchbook Bingo! You should be familiar with your purple book. Along with each task set, there are a set of numbers. Sketchbook Bingo. Each number relates to something which is essential for you to have on your page for that particular task that will provide evidence to get your marks. For example, one could be a title. This is self-explanatory. However, the way in which you provide each element can indicate a low or high grade student. There's a key on the back of the front cover which will help you with the details of what you need to include. We're going to use a research page as an example, as this is something you will make lots of. Going back to your title, research page, low grade. This is literal and descriptive and we can already see this. Your title needs to be clear and explorative. It needs to explain the purpose of the page and the idea you're exploring. For example, researching line and shape in illustration, Picasso's influence. This simply explains the purpose of the page and the context of it within your work. If you were presenting a photo shoot, a poor low grade title would be photo shoot but explaining the concept or idea behind it in a short of snappy title indicates to the moderator that you understand and are in control of your own creative process. For example, desire for sugar. Sometimes a task will have three numbers circled, sometimes six or seven, but whichever numbers are indicated, if you don't use or include every type of evidence identified on your page, you will lose marks. Use the key at the start of your book to help make sure you do this in a high grade way. So, how do you do it? Gather everything that needs presenting. Decide what annotation or titles you're going to handwrite or print out. Are you going to mount images? Above all, everything you present must look professional, thoughtful and relevant to what you're presenting. So no random decorations. You should only include things which get your marks. These are visual subjects. Most pages should be no more than 30% of writing. Your visuals should do the communicating. It's important that you put your page together in order to tell the story of what you're doing. It should be chronological and establish a hierarchy of information, either written or visual. Obviously, there's some different types of pages this is a research page, so it has lots of smaller amounts of visual and written information. But don't be afraid of full visual pages when you have super work to show off. Couple of do's and don'ts. Do, use the guillotine. Do, make it visually engaging and professional looking. Do, make sketches of your thoughts and ideas. Or if you're not into drawing, use images you've found or taken yourself to explain. Do write clearly and legibly. We need to read what you've written. To avoid low grade or GCSE style stuff, avoid felt tips, bubble writing and spider diagrams. Avoid poor quality printouts, no lines or faded images. Avoid a that'll do kind of attitude. Just because it's done doesn't mean it meets an appropriate standard. This is your A-level. Take pride in it. 
and also avoid too many tabs and flaps overlapping one another. Finally, it's important that your sketchbook is your own. Your aesthetic will develop and you will find your own way that works for you. Your sketchbook is personal and individual to you and your subject. You can find examples for ideas here, on Pinterest and Instagram. Good luck!